Erica with Rosie Research, and today we're going to start learning how to program Arduino circuits. I got an awesome super starter kit offline on Amazon. I'll give you guys the link down below. And this has everything you need except for one item to make these whole all these projects that we're doing. It's got lots and lots of fun stuff in it, and it's really easy because it's just sort of like grab and go, do it kind of a thing. So everything that you need is going to be in this. The one item that you need to get that's separate for these projects is called a motion detector. And that looks like this. They're a few dollars. You can also get them on Amazon, so I'll give you the link for that. They don't come with the little wires, but these wires come in that big starter kit that we had. So if you want to get started with me, you guys can do it along, or you can also download the instructions. There's two levels for this, so this video is just going to focus on the easier option on making a motion-activated circuit that plays the Star Wars theme. In another video, we'll teach you how to make a similarly motion-activated circuit that plays Star Wars, but also displays text on an LCD. So let's get started. First, you'll need your Arduino Uno. And this will come with a shield inside that nice kit. And all you need to do is plug the shield into the Arduino Uno. There's only one way to go, so you can't plug the pins this way. You have to plug them in so that they all plug in nice. And this just makes it easier to do circuit wiring because all of your, um, you still have the pins to the Arduino Uno, but you also have a breadboard to build on. So once you have that plugged in, you're ready to go. So I'm just going to sit here and follow these instructions with you guys. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to power up our breadboard with the ground and the hot pins. So if I look over here, there's a row of pins. These guys are ground. It says G and D for ground. And these ones say 5 volts for 5 volts. So I can plug this in. And this will do ground and blue. That will make this whole row on the breadboard ground, and this whole row 5 volts. Alternatively, you could just plug straight into the ground and the 5 volt items if you wanted to. So now I'm going to plug in my motion detector. So I'm going to plug in these cables. And if you look closely at your motion detector, you'll see a couple little text items that are written for you. Let me get this guy on. There we go. So here, my purple cable says ground, my blue cable says out, and my green cable says VCC. So I want to connect the purple cable into ground here. And my blue cable was out. And then my green cable is going to be VCC. That's, that's the 5 volts that's going to go high. So we'll plug that in there. And I'm going to leave this guy open for a second, which is the out cable. And I'm going to look, and in the next step it tells me to plug that into the signal pin of my Arduino, which is pin 7. So I can look up here, and it'll say digital I.O., digital input output. And I look for pin 7. And I plug that right into pin 7. So now my detector is all ready to go. So next I want to connect my buzzer. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to plug the buzzer in here. This is what's going to play our music. And then I'll use two cables to connect the ends of the buzzer to where they go. So we want to make sure we're in the same row of the breadboard. So here's the two pieces of my buzzer. And let's see, we're going to connect one of these pins to pin 8 of our Arduino. So this guy's going to go to pin 8. And one of them should be to ground. So we can come over here and pin into ground. Just like that. All right, next step. We have some fun little lights that are going to light up for us. So what we want to do for that is we're going to connect our LEDs. It's really important here to remember that if you look at your LEDs, there's one long leg and one short leg, and that's because LEDs have a polarity. So electrons, as they light up through an LED, they're going wee and really excited going down a slide. They will look at the bottom of the slide and do nothing if your LED is backwards. 
So you gotta make sure that the long leg goes to something high or positive and the short leg goes to something low or like ground. Here it tells us that the LEDs need to go to pin 13 of the Arduino and it needs to go through a resistor. So we wanna do that. So we're gonna go to pin 13 here through a little resistor. And the other one, well, that's going to be the long leg. And then the other leg is going to go to ground. So I'll need to connect this other leg to ground. Right now, I just plugged in that short leg into the breadboard. It's connected to nothing because there's nothing else in the same row as it. I'll need a little wire to connect that leg over to ground. Just like that. All right, now we have a second LED that we're also going to do the same thing. So we're gonna to go to pin 12 this time. And let's see, I can't quite, you will plug it straight in and that guy will go to ground also. All right, so now all we're gonna need is we need to program this little Arduino with all of the code we need. I have a great little screenshot that's going to walk you through and we're going to open up um, Tinkercad which is a link that you guys can go to. It will have all of the code. You're going to copy that code and you're going to go over into Arduino who has in what's called a web-based IDE, a development environment, and you're going to paste that code into a new sketch. So you want to open up a new sketch you're gonna paste that code into the new sketch and you click a little check mark which will verify that your code is working. If it doesn't work, you're gonna to have to do a little bit of troubleshooting or recopy and repaste it in to see if you missed anything. Once it's working, you're gonna click the little arrow that goes to the right and that's gonna tell you to load it up onto your Arduino. Now you have to have your Arduino plugged into your computer and you're going to need to choose Arduino Uno from the drop down menu. So it should have a green check mark to show you that it's connected. Once it's connected, you should be ready to go. It should upload all of the um, code that you need to run this program. And of course, then when we're all the way done, we need to plug it in and then it'll detect the motion and play this fun little item. So it'll keep playing and it'll be able to be reactivated when you re -give, um, reactivate the motion detector. And there you go. You have your first little Arduino programming activity that you've done. It's fairly simple once you get the idea of how to use a breadboard and how to use the shield and some of these cables. But if you don't start somewhere, you're never going to learn it. So give it a try. I know you can do this and you're gonna have a lot of fun. It's a great thing to put somewhere to scare mom or dad as they walk in and it starts playing all of a sudden and lights start flashing. So you can think about sneaky places you can put it. If you had fun with this one, definitely check out our next one, which uses an LCD display. And it's a little bit trickier for wiring, but it's got a really big payoff. Make sure you check us out in all of our projects on social media and our blog, and we're also on Teachers Pay Teachers if you wanna support us. Thank you so much for joining us today, and I hope you have a great afternoon.